Tally ho there champs and welcome to the show. Today I'm going to be looking at the Acer Aspire S13. Now this thing is an absolute bargain at the moment. It's been out for a while and the good thing about that is the prices have come down. And we're talking you can pick this up for under $1,000 in Australia. And I actually seen it on Amazon for $579 US. And at that sort of price, this thing is an absolute steal. This is a champagne quality laptop at a beer budget. It's a classy 13 inch ultrabook and it also has modern specs too and if you compare this to say something like the macbook air it's no contest this is a much better laptop for like nearly half the price this model here has an intel i5 6200u 256 gigabyte ssd 8 gigabytes of ram and that's the maximum amount of ram you can get 13.3 inch full hd display this one is not the touch you can get a touch version intel 520 hd graphics so you're talking modern components i mean it's not cabby lake the latest but when you consider that the latest MacBook Pro 13 inch non-touch model uses pretty much the same processor as this and really there's not that much difference between Cabby Lake and Skylake. So the design is beautiful, it is elegant, classy, sophisticated, the top lid it has a rib textured lid, very unique. You can get it in black and white. I like the white one, but I have the black one here. Open her up and you can see on the palm rest and the deck, you have chamfered aluminium alloy. You can see the beveled edges around the palm rest and actually around the trackpad too. Very classy finish here. The only thing that detracts from this like high-end classy build is maybe the bezels. They are a bit big there, but overall, when you consider the price, I don't think it detracts too much from the premium classy product it is. And even if you have a look at the hinge, at the back metal hinge it just has nice touches all around it is a classy laptop and as you can see it's a very thin ultrabook we're talking 14 millimeters thick it's under three pounds like 2.9 pounds it is really like a very thin light ultrabook so it's great for executives cafe warriors and that's one thing to note about this is it has the best wi-fi i've tested in any laptop i'm not talking performance wise i'm just talking range wise it has two by two mimo support and when i test it out here in the studio i really get strong signal I'm not saying it's the fastest Wi-Fi, but if you're a road warrior, cafe warrior, <laughs> student and stuff, you know, you want good Wi-Fi, as in strong Wi-Fi, and this has really good Wi-Fi. So moving on to ports. So on the right-hand side, you have USB-C, a USB-3, HDMI port, and the power jack there. On the left-hand side, you have USB-3, audio jack, and an SD card slot. So you've got enough ports. You have the USB-C, so that's great. And you won't have to be carrying any dongles around with you, unless you want Ethernet or something like that. Keyboard, it's fairly shallow. So you're either you're gonna like it or you won't. I don't mind it, but it's on the edge of being too shallow for mine. Trackpad is fairly decent. You see that beveled edge around, it looks classy. Gestures work well. I wouldn't say the response is fantastic, but it is decent. Now underneath you have some speakers, Dolby capable speakers here. They are pretty good. They're small, but they're good. They're decent speakers, but they're not going to blow you away. I think another strong point of this is the screen. All right, it has those bezels, but this one here is the 13.3 inch Full HD matte display. It's the non-touch version. This one, you can get a touch IPS panel as well. The panel in this is really good. Good color reproduction. Things are nice and sharp. You have a matte screen, so it's great to have a matte screen. And definitely, when you consider the price, this is a fantastic screen. Matte display display so you don't get those reflections it gets plenty bright enough and as i said you have the option of a touch screen and viewing angles are very good too battery life for an ultra book is actually pretty good you get around seven hours just general surfing youtube web surfing productivity stuff seven hours is pretty decent the battery life is not as much as claimed but still seven hours is good now performance well performance is exactly like any other i5 6200u it's the 15 watt part so you'll be able to video edit full HD content you'll be able to do a bit of Photoshop any productivity will handle no problem you'll be able to play your casual games like your Minecraft Ashfeld 8 sort of thing and Football Manager it's really good for that too but you're not going to be playing other games like Overwatch and stuff like that you can play it but this is not what this is for and you have to remember it has that 8 gigabyte limit there which is fine for what it's made for now it doesn't get overly hot too, it has a very small fan and now with small fans you get a higher pitch so some people don't like that. Fortunately it doesn't really come on that much so thermals are well controlled here. 
it doesn't get hot but yeah you will get a slight high pitch fan noise when it does kick in now overall this is a fantastic product and when you're talking 579 us or under a thousand dollars australian there isn't a classier laptop with this build quality and specs for that sort of price i mean a lot of the laptops you'll compare to this and you know talking cost you know 40 50 60 percent more so i think acer have done really well to achieve a laptop at this price point so competitively priced you can actually match up to some of the highest spec pcs and like this is much better than a macbook air so if you want a classy ultra book at a really good price definitely check this one out i'd like to really thank you guys for watching give me a thumbs up if you like this video if you're new around here why not subscribe got lots more tech content coming soon and until next time guys, tally ho.